Let's multiply some fractions. Generally, you have two fractions, A over B multiplied by C over D. You multiply the top, A by C divided by B times D. Right? So if you have, for example, one half multiplied by one third, this would be one times one upstairs over two by three downstairs. One one is one over two three six. One six. So what you get is like the situation you have a circle and half. You take half of it. Now for each half you cut each so you cut the entire circle into halves. Two into a half. You half the circle. Now let's turn each of those halves. So three equal parts. You turn this and this one three equal parts. So you turn it. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that becomes six equal parts. Now that the, what this is saying is that you have taken a whole thing and divided it up into six equal parts. So it's six equal parts that you have here. Alright? So that's what happens in that case. Could we could look at another example. Let's say you have A half multiplied by two thirds that gives you two ones two over two three six two sixes which is the same as one third you know but let's keep it as two sixes for now just to this just to discuss the principles behind it so you half the circle then for each half you turn it right and you turn it now two thirds two of these thirds is it becomes two out of six when you multiply it by a half all right another way to look at it let's look at it another way suppose you have two-thirds of this circle so you have one-third each you take this third and this third and half each of them half this third and half this third what the thing is one, two, three, four, five parts. You need to third each because equal portions. All right. So, what you had originally was two thirds. So, you covered all of this area that is being shaded. And then you half each third. To get six equal parts how many shaded parts you cover two of the six out of six so you have two one you have one here and you have another one here two out of one two three four five six equal parts all right so generally multiplying fractions you multiply the numerators over multiply the denominators now one tip remember if you get for example one and a half multiplied by two thirds you must turn the mixed fraction into improper fraction before you multiply it also ad applies to addition subtraction as well and division which we haven't come to yet but we'll see 
So one and a half, we saw our F before. One quick way to get the improper fraction, two times one is two, plus one, three. So you have three half times two thirds. Let's just do it down here. Three half times two thirds give you three, two, six over two trees. Six. So three over two times two thirds. Three, two, six times two, three, six one whole in that case all right now you have two you have three halves that means you had one whole circle up here and then you have half more one whole circle plus half more half of another circle and you find two thirds of that all right you find two thirds of it what it means here is that one whole circle contains how many sixties uh, not that six equal parts the half would contain only three all right now if you take all of this how many six you have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine sixes so this is one and a one entire circle one and a half more and we want to see how many sixes we have one two three four five six seven eight seven eight nine sixes two thirds of that so we want two thirds of it Three into three, one, three into nine, three. Two by three is six. So we have six sixes, six out of six. All right. In other words, out of all the nine sixes, what is two thirds of nine? It is six. So you have six sixes, six out of six. So you have one whole circle. Six out of six that's one two three four five six sixes all right but let's say the shortcut method is just a matter of multiplying top by top over bottom by bottom and you get that answer right so when you have two fractions to multiply multiply upstairs over and multiply downstairs and then you cancel down wherever you can if you are given one of the fractions as a mixed fraction like one and a half you turn it into an improper fraction we did that in an earlier video and then you multiply that improper fraction by the other fraction again top by top over bottom by bottom and you get your answer Alright, that's it for now.